Hey everybody, Dave Shopius here. Thought I'd uh, give you a little bit update what I've been doing to my B9 arm. Um, I have got, uh, what I'm going to talk about today is the servo modification that I've done. Um, what I had in here, and still do actually, is a one of high techs um, kind of expensive digital servos. You can see it inside this gearbox right here. One of them I had um, have it's uh, I can't recall the numbers on it right now, but it's about $150. It's their top line servo, pretty fast, uh, pretty powerful. But um, the problem with digital servos is they whine when they're holding position. Um, so I've always wanted to uh, take remove the the circuit board and swap it out with a ultrasonic switching uh, motor controller, and I found one. Um, at Pulo, Pulu, and it's um, the uh, JRK 12 volt, 12 amp USB motor controller, um, item number 1393. And uh, this is a cool little thing. Um, you just have to take the, the um, circuit board out of the uh, servo and uh, wire it in. There's, a, there's three wires coming off the potentiometer. Um, and and two wires, three wires coming off the motor itself. So <clears throat> I had three wires. Uh, there's a case ground and, and a, two motor wires in there. I have pictures on the web on uh, the uh, forum. So you can, if you want to see what it looks like with everything apart, you can go there. Um, but uh, anyway, you can see how I've got it uh, coming out of the bottom of the servo. You get the gearbox I have mounted in here. Basically, that's what it looks like. Um, Whoops, <laughs> a little comedy there. Anyway, um, I'm not going to get into the gearbox or the ratios or nothing like that. I just want to show you what I've done here. Um, and I always want to, I, I was, didn't want to hack that servo because it was pretty expensive, but I had a mishap and I fried it out. Um, got hung up and fried it out. You can see the uh, little chip on there is just burnt up. So it gave me a perfect excuse to try this, this um, motor controller I've been holding on to for a while. And um, it's fantastic. It works really good. It's silent and it's just as strong and quick as this one. You just have to uh, program it through the USB controller. You plug this in right here into the computer and uh, they've got software. You program it. It's really easy. They've got step-by-step -step instructions. And um, basically it, it, uh, what it does is turn your servo into a DC motor controller and um, it, oh, it accepts uh, RC bandwidths and um, a number of other things. But I'm using it uh, with RC mode so I can uh, send signals from my EZB controller through it for position and, and uh, speed control. So let me show you how nicely it works. Um, here's my EZB stuff here. I have a script written that's going to just uh, start it up. The only problem about this is, um, unlike the digital servo board, um, when you release the servo, it won't hold position. It'll kind of sag down. But I've got, I've got that covered with a little um, latch I've built in here that that pulls back when it wants to run. But right now I've got everything disconnected, so I've got to do it manually. So I'm going to start up uh, the EZB script the easy builder script and you'll see it pick up <clears throat> and that's when the uh, lash would come out by itself but I got to do it manually so pull that out of the way and see it run there it goes that's about three pounds on the end of there so it's got plenty of uh, plenty of strength that uh, gear box is running about 7 to 1 ratio and you can see it hear it silent you hear the motor running but you can't hear any whining very quiet very quiet so um the only problem is this little guy gets pretty hot in here if it keeps running continuously so it's not built for continuous uh, operation but uh, that's okay. I'm not going to be running uh, continuous. 
pretty quick. So I'm going to stop it and uh, I'll release the servo now. And that, that stops the power, that'll cool it down too. And you'll see how it kind of wants to sag down. But like I said, that's when this uh, little latch comes in handy down there. It'll, it'll push out and catch that. And uh, you can see that uh, works pretty good. It's in the, in the, in the uh, receive mode now, waiting for a command. The little red light's on. And uh, I'm not going to get into all the wiring. That's a mess. So anyway, as you can see, it, uh, I just wanted to show you how nice and quiet that is and how well it works. Um, the hardest part was uh, setting it up, setting the software up, but it was a step-by-step -step thing. They walk you right through it. It is very easy. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.